all right what's going on everybody uh today i'm going to be showing you guys how to um uh de magic car put it back in, into code walker and uh to get the original files that so they're not uh xml uh imported anymore so um today we are going to be doing this car right here it is a uh challenger it's actually a pd challenger so we're going to go ahead and uh debadge it uh and then yeah so i'm just gonna close these for right now to show you guys like you know what, what what to do um this was just the car i was messing around uh, messing around uh, car i was debadging right before this video um but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so you guys need uh code walker blender and your solemns tool uh first things first what you guys want to do is uh open up code walker go to rpf explorer You guys can close this, close that out. You guys can uh, tab that like this little icon over here. So I go smaller, go to file, open folder, desktop, and find your folder that is on your desktop. So we're going to go out and open that. And then I have two, I have two folders here. So I have one as a D badge start and D badge done when I'm done in Blender. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to right click, then left click and export XML desktop. Ebad start and select folder. Now we're gonna wait a second for the file to go into it. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna do this a uh, high YFT. You don't need the YTD, you just need the uh, YFT and the high YFT. So uh, right click, left click to get to export uh, XML, desktop, and then uh, debad start. I just did. Uh, to double check the, the, the vault in here. They are now in here. We're going to type that out for now. You guys want to go to open up your Blender. Now, I use Blender 3.6. That uh, works for me. But you guys can use whichever one works for you. So, you guys are going to hit this little tab right here. You guys can go to Solemn's Tool. General. Import Code Walker. Desktop. Debad Start. Import Code Walker. And only import the uh, YFT. Do not import the high YFT. Because uh, it will automatically uh, debadge once you import the uh, YFT. Uh, so just give it a few seconds for the vehicle to load in. It does take a second for the car to load into Blender, um, as well as uh, importing and uh, exporting files from Blender and CodeWalker. Um, so once it pops up, you guys can see there's a box uh, around it. Do a uh, hide collisions and it'll hide. You guys can go to view, navigation, walk navigation, and if you guys click shift, uh, you guys can move faster around. So as you guys can see, we have an SRT badge here. We have an SRT badge here. We have the demon logo here, but I'm gonna keep that logo. We have an SRT badge right here. It says dodge uh, in the back. You guys can keep these, uh, not this, you gotta delete that. You can, you can keep the goal because it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the company logo or name on it um again gonna keep that demon logo srt badge here and there's probably something on the seats it's gonna see this yet um to check under the hood to make sure there's not a badge under the hood what you guys can do is over here uh the file you're gonna down click the third one you're gonna down click again you're gonna find this one right here and then you, it will uh take up the hood of the vehicle and you can go in and search the engine for any uh, badges, which there will be badges on the engine. Um, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh, the front badge here. So we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna right click to stop moving. You can click tab and you guys can use these boxes up here to uh, help you guys uh, remove the badge. I like using this one right here. It's just a lot easier. Uh, I just find it a lot simpler. Uh, this, you know, it lets me go really fast with it. Just like that, the badge is removed now. Uh, you can see right here, just a little part of the badge is still there, but that's it. Though. All right, now that part is removed. You guys can go back to view, navigation, walk navigation, and hit the uh, side of the wheel here. Again, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer just to get a better uh, view on this because the wheel was like turned. So. 
options with delete and delete that one view navigation walk navigation head over to the other wheel oh, oh shit. if you guys do mess up you guys do click on something okay so say i delete this right say i just deleted that click Control z and i'll pop back up i think i just clicked it twice so let me just double check uh Make sure then okay yeah i'm good okay so we're gonna go ahead and start deleting these here now that's removed we're gonna head to the back of the vehicle i'm gonna leave the goal on there but i am gonna remove the dodge and the srt badge so same thing Just go through them delete them uh try to get the edges as well because the edges uh will still be there um so whoever created the vehicle they used like uh it, you know it, it's a whole process with putting on a badge so they use like different different things so you guys see how i deleted the front now you got the inner part of the badge let's go ahead and delete this part as well oh i missed this part i guess i thought i got it guess not. okay uh, now that badge is removed. We're gonna head up here to this badge now and we're gonna remove this badge Just like that uh, Now we're gonna head over to the brake pad of the vehicle usually um, Not usually but sometimes there are logos or badges on the brake pad uh, Like BMW BMW has uh, some badges on there. So um, you can go ahead and get rid of those uh, But we're gonna come into the uh, into the vehicle now on the steering wheel and we're just going to go ahead and delete uh all the badges uh not all the badges just the badge on here uh almost done boom okay we're just gonna just double check yep see just like that and then delete we'll go here again and uh, Check the seat. We're gonna have like the seat just to make sure there's no badges. It looks like there's none. We're in the clear. So yeah, we're all good. Check the dashboard. Sometimes on some of the vehicles they have either the name or the type of the vehicle on here. Uh, you guys can either just delete it to make it look more clean, uh, but that's pretty much just our preference. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Get a better look at the vehicle. Okay. Yep. All right. So we have officially finished uh, debadging our uh, PD car here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're just gonna check the inside of the check the engine really quick just to make sure you, know, you can never be too safe. So there is the Hemi logo. Uh, I'm gonna keep that uh, on there. You don't. Uh, you could remove it if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to uh, just for the sake of the video. So we're gonna just. Uh, fold that back up. Make sure you guys highlight the uh, the uh, file, export code walker desktop, and put it in, into your debadge done folder or whatever folder you have uh, for when you're done debadging your car. Now, like I said, you got to give it a second for it to get exported uh, into your debadge done folder or whatever folder you have. So it does take a second, so I'll just go ahead and give it that time. Um, so now when I tab out my blender, we're gonna go to debadge done, and you guys can see both of the files are uh, are now here. So we're gonna open up our blender once again. Uh, you guys tabbed it out, so um, you know to reopen it, you guys are gonna make a folder named viewer, or you don't have to. You guys can. I did just to make it more organized. So this is my viewer folder. I am gonna highlight these and I'm just gonna drag them both into Blender just to get um, them not XML uh, um, uh, exported anymore. Uh, these are gonna uh, revert it back to uh, the original uh, file. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna just delete these from here just to make them more clean, just so I don't you know, forget later on that uh, they're in here when I'm debadging another car. Um, so I'm just going to remove them from these two folders because I don't need them anymore in here. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our original folder. We're going to go to stream and we're going to delete the uh, YFT and delete the high YFT and go back over to blender is going to highlight them and drag them over into the stream folder of the vehicle. I'm going to type that out just because I'm not done with it yet. You guys may be done with it, but I'm not done with it. I got more cars to do uh, to this video. Um, so once you guys got your whole vehicle done, uh, so I, uh, server I own, we do use, um, we do use file browser. So we use file browser. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and, uh, use, I'm going to show you guys how to do it through file browser. And it should be the same as well through um, uh, uh, ESX the same way you guys should put them in. So um, I'll log back in. So I'm going to go to my, so I'm here at the main. I'm going to go with uh, your folder into your resources and do cars folder. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in emergency vehicles. So when I do that, I'm going to grab the folder with the vehicle in it and go to data uh, and just, you know, whatever folder you have your stuff in, you know, that, that's where you're going to go. Now I got save for all. I can only save for mine. It's just the way it's set up. So I'm just going to change the name, uh, just so it's more, um, again, organized. Okay. I'm going to drop the data into the data folder from the data folder. I'm going to go to the stream folder in this, I'm going to name, rename this back to data. And then I'm gonna go back and do the proper folder. And then I am going to change this to the same name. I named the data folder, which is the name of the vehicle. I'm gonna drag this, drag, oh, my bad. I'll drag this into the stream folder for the PD vehicles. Okay. Now that is in. Um, you guys would like, uh, not would like, you guys have to go to your guys' vehicle Lua in order to put it inside of your uh, city. So I'm gonna go to my vehicle Lua, which is here. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom to undercover PD cars. I am going to copy this top line just so I don't have to retype it all out. I'm going to paste it under here. I'm going to go back to my files. I'm going to go back to data, to the data folder. I'm going to find the vehicle. I'm going to handling and I'm just going to copy the uh, Handling file name, and I'm going to paste it next to model. I'm going to clean this up a little bit real quick. And the brand is going to be PD. So LSPD price zero, uh, category PD automobile shop, none because they're not going to be any shops this is just putting it into the city say you want to put it into the pd shop you would just put it um you know where your pd shop is which is right here and then you would have to go into your city and put it in there as well but that's how you put it into the vehicle lua and now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to my resources i'm going to go to where am i in i'm gonna go Uh, we're going to restart our emergency vehicles. Actually, we're going to restart. Restart. Okay. Now that we started, we're going to go ahead and open up our 5M server. 
now if you guys are interested in joining my 5m server we are launching on friday the 8th um so um we are giving away five free gangs uh we have aztecas uh vagos black mafia family uh balas and um we have one uh crips that's right crips so we have those five gangs you guys um all you guys all you guys got to do is come and join the discord and then um make a ticket you guys have to have five or more people uh in order to acquire the gang uh what comes with the gang is ammo drugs guns um and possibly there's some money uh just to get the gang started um some gang money you guys can't keep it for yourselves it's like for the gangs to you know to do whatever you guys need to do with the money with other gangs or or you know just however you want to do it use your money basically um so yeah this is my city um i made it with one of my friend one of my friends named frosty um it's called mythic la it's an la based city uh semi serious rp slash 100k slash rp it's basically all three put into one we have PD, EMS, we have government jobs for you guys to work at. We have regular jobs you guys can work at. We have, um, uh, like you guys can get Benny's, uh, auto exotics. You guys can get, um, Uwu. Uh, we just put in burger shot. We have hornies. Um, what else do we have? We have, uh, we have a lot. It, it like, it, it's so much where I can't even name all of it. But if you guys do want to check it out, I'll go ahead and leave the uh, Discord link in the description. Um, if you guys do join, I would, uh, I would very much appreciate it. Um, as I do, you know, create these videos to try to help you guys out. You guys can help me out just by even joining the Discord and, and seeing what this is all about. Even joining the city. Um, so we're still loading in here. All right, there we go. Now my character. Don't hear my character now. It's just me me all right we're gonna open up our menu and we are going to put in our spawn code uh maybe it's not even here yet um oops. that's we're gonna put in our spawn code and we're gonna get it to you spawning and there you go the vehicle is put into your server now. That's how you do it. As you guys can see, all the badges are removed. There is uh, the gold badge I kept on. Uh, everything else is removed, as you guys can see. SRT badge gone. D -ba uh, the demon logo is still there. Gold logo is still there, but everything else got removed. Look on the inside. Uh, I can't look. I can't look down. But the SRT badge on the screen is still. Oh, there you go. Look at the wheel. The wheel badge is gone. There's nothing on the seats. Uh, the lights still work. I didn't mess around with the lights at all. But they still work. Um, but if you guys do have any more questions on vehicles, I know I'm supposed to. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm supposed to make a video on what the uh, on how to do a handling file. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But trust me. I will make, I will make a video on how to do handling files. I just, it, it's a long process, so it's, you know. But yeah, all right guys, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you guys have any more questions, just join the Discord and just hit me up. Uh, I would really, really much appreciate it if you guys also, um, you know join my city see what's all about again opening day is at uh, 5 p.m pst or uh, 8 p.m est on uh friday the 8th uh, november 8th so uh yeah i hope you guys uh really enjoyed this video and uh